Hi, this is Chris Murphy, Connecticut's United States Senator. Welcome to our Connecticut in the Capitol series. This video is about Connecticut's connection to the old Supreme Court chamber. I hope you enjoy it. We're here in the old Supreme Court chamber in the U.S. Capitol, which has a whole host of connections to Connecticut. We'll start with one of the most prominent busts, the bust of Oliver Ellsworth, one of the most famous Connecticut residents, the author of the Connecticut Compromise and the third Supreme Court Justice. Now, he didn't actually preside in this chamber, but his bust is here because he solved a pretty thorny problem for the president. When the president nominated his third choice to be Supreme Court Justice, the Chief Justice, he was uh, rejected by the United States Senate, uh, poised with a problem uh, of Senate intransience. He decided to choose one of its own members. Oliver Ellsworth was one of Connecticut's original two senators, one of the most trusted members of that body. And when the president chose him to be the new Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, he sailed uh, through confirmation. Later on, this chamber would see a case that has become synonymous with Connecticut, and that's the Amistad case. You know it well, whether you've read the story in the history books or seen the movie. Uh, the Amistad case in which slaves rebelled, the ship docked off Connecticut, and a contest grew over the future of the slaves was heard uh, right here in this chamber, ultimately with the disposition that the slaves should be set free. A uh, case right here with direct Connecticut connections. Now, in 1935, the United States Supreme Court hightailed it across the street, uh, and there's even a Connecticut connection there. It was Cass Gilbert that designed the current United States Supreme Court building, and you can find him all over Connecticut, from the New Haven Free Library to the Municipal Complex in Waterbury. This chamber has a lot of connections to Connecticut, but even the new place does as well. The old Supreme Court chamber, uh, deeply connected to the history of Connecticut.